Hi, I'm Mark, I'm one of the organisers of the, uh, the Trail 26 events. Um, been out for a run, this is Easter week and uh, the sun's just absolutely glorious, got some fantastic weather so we used it as an opportunity to come and do a course recce for the Howgills Trail 26. So been out running with Chris, one of the other event organisers and with Joss the Dog as well who's uh, probably our most well known event organiser. Um, so we've got four events in the Trail 26 series, we have one at Delamere Forest, um, we have one at uh, Grisdale Forest and then we have uh, another two events, one in the Howgills and one at uh, Hell Valley, both of which are um, of a quite mountainous terrain. And the Howgills are just a, an amazing place to run. A lot of people um, don't know much about them. They, they tend to more go to central lakes. And uh, in terms of the, the situation, they're kind of, you look at a map and you follow the M6 up to Kendall. If you then go right, they're over on the right hand side of the M6 where the most of the lakes is over on the left. So people tend to avoid them. And they're kind of right on the border of the Lake District in the National Park and they're just huge big grassy hills so um, just a, a trail runner's uh, paradise really a fantastic place and they're very quiet as well so just a wonderful place to go and explore and get away so our trail 26 event in the Howgills um, it's, a, it's a course of two halves really we've got a, the first half it starts in Sedba village and Sedba is a beautiful picturesque picturesque little town so we start on the main street there so we get a great atmosphere and then it starts with climbing um, up Winderfell and um, that's a bit sharp and it's a bit hard at the start, so definitely don't go off too hard. And then from Winder you go up to Arant Hall and then up to Calder, and then you climb all the way across and to the to the Calf, which is one of the more popular and one of the most well-known hills up in the uh, in the Howgills. So the climbing's all really in the first first quarter, uh, and then after the Calf it then starts to descend. And the, the Trail 26 runners, the marathon runners, they go all the way down Bowderdale uh, Valley, all the way to a little town called Ravenstone Dale, which is a halfway point. Whereas the 13 mile route, this is a half marathon option as well, they cut off to the right and drop down Courtly Spout, which is the waterfall that you can see there behind me. And the half marathon drops down there. Um, so you've got that option of your 26 or your 13 mile option if you don't quite fancy the full marathon. And then the route back to Sedba then is very, very different. All the climbing has been done in the first half. So the route back is uh, it's really nice at footpaths and trails which skirt the way around the outside of the Howgills. Uh, but the climbing has all really been done in the first part. So the key is not to go off too hard and not to destroy your legs on all of those hills and then save a little bit for the, last, uh, for the second half and then you can run a little bit quicker on those good paths and make your way back to Sedba. So the date for this year's uh, Howgills Trail 26 is um, it's Sunday the 17th of May so uh, we're hoping that the weather's going to be like this you know being uh, towards middle end of May that maybe we'll get a little bit of weather and it'll be warm like this um, and the half marathon option is on the same day as well they're both on the Sunday the 17th of May. If you're looking to enter the Howgills event or any of the Trail 26 events uh, then if you go to our website it's www.trail26.com